Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain how we determine our hot resistance using the formula RH equals RC times, and in brackets, 1 plus alpha delta T. So here's the sample question we have, and I know a lot of people struggle on it. <coughs> so let's just have, actually, let's have a look at the formula first. It's a bit crude, but bear with me. RH, which is our hot resistance, or resistance hot, is equal to our resistance cold. There's a times in there, even though it's just a bracket, that means times. So our, our resistance cold times 1 plus, another bracket, alpha delta T, and two closed brackets. I always put in uh, brackets where necessary, it doesn't show it in the formula, but um, I prefer to do it this way, I know I'm always right. Okay, so let's just go throughout the, uh, throughout the equation. So, let's just have a look. Things we need to look for. The first thing of the formula, RC. Now, our cold resistance, actually I haven't even read you the question yet. Give your answer in engineering notation. A coil is wound using a copper conductor. The resistance of a coil is 50 ohms at 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature coefficient of resistance for copper is 0 0.004 ohms per degree. Determine the coil's resistance at 75 degrees. Okay, so there's the question. Let's run through the formula. RC, what's that equal to? So our cold resistance, it says it here, 50 ohms. So RC is equal to 50. Um, next part of the equation is that's we don't need to worry about the one yet because that's always a constant that that never changes so RC the next part is the alpha alpha is the temperature coefficient uh, of resistance so that is 0 0.004 degree uh, ohm per degree uh, and that's only for copper that always changes but we're looking at copper here so that's what we're using so our alpha is equal to 0 0.004. Uh, the next part of the equation is delta T. Now, delta T is the hot uh, temperature minus the cold temperature. So in this case, 75 degrees, which is the hot, minus the 25 degrees, which is cold. So that is equal to 25. Uh, sorry, that is equal to 50 degrees. Um, how's the best way for me to write this? Um, delta T. I'll just write it. Delta T is equal to 50 degrees. So we can start our formula now. And I'll write it out exactly how you can punch it into your calculator. So we start off with our uh, resistance cold, which is 50, times open bracket. Uh, the constant, which is 1 plus, whoops, plus our alpha, which is 0 0.004. I actually th always throw another bracket in here, times our delta T, which is 50. Close bracket, close bracket. Because I've used two brackets here, I have to have two at the end. It's just the way it is. That is equal to... So let's run it over again. Our uh, uh, RH is equal to our RC times, and then we start our brackets, 1 plus another bracket, 0 0.004 times 50. That equals to, now punch that exactly in your calculator. Uh, don't worry about the spaces, just punch that in. So 50 times, open bracket, 1 plus, open another bracket, 0 0.004 times 50. And close to uh, close with two brackets. And hit your equal sign. Our RH is equal to 60 ohms. Uh, I'll just write it in here. Uh, our H, our resistance hot, is equal to 60 ohms. Uh, if you don't believe me, 
I'll just open up Moodle and here it is here, here's the question the exact same question 60 base because it's not kilo, it's not anything uh, we didn't need to convert it, it's 60 base ohms uh, that's it guys, you should be able to um, do that on any question you get uh, they try to mix them up a bit you'll never get that, e you might not get that exact question but um, yeah you should be able to just use that formula, easy peasy alright uh, that's it. If you have any problems, give us a yell. Thanks, guys.